What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started with today's video, I just wanted to announce we're going to be hosting our very first SoCal car meet. It's going to be this Saturday, November 19th at Newcombs Ranch from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We hope to see you guys there and now let's get started with today's video. So this is my 8th gen Civic. I'm just playing, this is not my 8th gen Civic. This is my 8th gen Civic SI. And I've actually done the full Type R conversion, but there are some parts of the car that are still resemblant to an SI. Let me show you guys what I got. So as we walk around my car, the front end already has the FD2 Type R hood, fenders, bumper, Mugen lip, the grill, as well as some Brembo's. Um, these are the Acura TL Type S's, but they're not too far off from the actual Type R kit. We also have the side skirts, as well as the FD2 Type R wing. A dumbass right here. We got the, <laughs> we got the trunk, we got the bumper, we also got the diffuser, as well as an FD2 specific exhaust. It's a spoon exhaust, but it's made for the... Anyways, everything looks like a genuine Type R. But it's not. And it will never be a genuine Type R, so shut the... Up. Until today, until today. I got a fat pimple on my lip. Ignore that, but um, yeah, we still got, we got the FD2 headlights, front end, full, basically everything converted except for one thing. And I even got rid of the SI seat. Not the passenger. They don't need to know that, okay? Everything is full Type R. I also changed out the floor mat. Pretty much nothing in this car is reminiscent of the SI, except for one thing. My cluster still says SI. And I know what a lot of people do is actually they get like a Mugen overlay and just slap it over the SI, or like they take it out or whatever, but it's not like a full replacement. You can still tell it's an SI cluster because it has like this little, this gray thing, this gray plastic piece. The Speedo is pretty much still the same, but I have a solution for that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's actually right here, straight from Japan. I actually ordered this a long time ago. I wanna say I've had this part for about two years, but I tried installing it once and it didn't work. So I had it sent to one of my buddies. Careful, careful. Fuck your cluster, man. It's not an Integra GSR part, like what you're used to. Peep the GSR in the back. <laughs> the GSR. Not used to saying that, huh? Yeah. Hey, Andrew, what's up with the NSX, huh? Uh, nothing. What's it's up with it? It's abandoned. Look at this. Abandoned. While you're still unwrapping that. Huh? You don't you don't have anything to say about this, this car back here? Just nope. let it sit? Well, I bake in the fenders if you guys want to show, show them that. This is a genuine FD2 Type R cluster. And uh, as you can see, it has like a dark gray plastic inside. It also has a little gauge right here. I'll show you guys side by side the differences. I think the best part is this one, but I don't. You can't see inside this one, so you guys gotta wait till we install this. We'll show you guys at nighttime. But ooh, if you guys are enthusiasts, you guys will know why we're so hyped. Turns out it's right there. Ooh. Oh, actually, they can see a little bit of it. Not really though. I think. Oh yeah, it's right there. Yes, sir. If you guys don't know, you will in a little bit. Also, I just wanna let you guys know ahead of time before you guys are interested in buying this Type R cluster that you cannot just buy the cluster and plug it in into your FA5. The cluster requires some reprogramming and that's why it took so long for me to actually get this cluster working. If you guys are interested for your 8th gen Civics, it also works for FG2s as well. Hit up Eric Jensen, his Instagram handle is right here, FD underscore two. Yeah, just contact him if you guys are interested in this cluster because this cluster, it looks sick. It looks it really cool. It, yeah, it is not cheap. It isn't cheap. It is elastic from being cheap. All right, so to get started with this, you just wanna pop this, oops. You kind of just want to pop this out, just held on by some clips, and then uh, you also can pop this out. It's all pretty much held on by clips, and then I'll just, I'll just record a little time lapse. It's pretty simple. It's kind of funny how the Type R doesn't really have that fake carbon 
um, in the interior, but the SIs do. And uh, pretty much all the Type Rs have that, you know, that fake carbon fiber going on, except for this one. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why in Japan they don't have that fake carbon fiber going on, but then it's funny how the SIs have the, the option. Okay, stock SI cluster is out, now the speedometer. All right, so this is what the stock cluster looks like. I mean, there's my mileage. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Also, this is the speedo, water temp on the left, gas on the right. I am dangerously low on gas. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's install the Type R1. Can you tell the differences, Carlos? They look pretty similar. Yeah. All right, guys, so look. It's got an orange needle, white needle, needle. Look, look, oh, the red line's different too. See that, 8,000, 8,000. My car can now rev up to eight and a half thousand. Automatically. <laughs> Automatically. <laughs> also, water temp gauge is now down here. Replaced it with the IV tech up here. And uh, this one doesn't have a V tech gauge. Three screws here, and then go, the top piece goes in. Right? Yeah! These things better look so sick. Hey, thanks, Andrew. I appreciate you putting it all back together for me when you got class in like five, ten minutes. About a dip, man. I'm gonna leave your bitch ass here. All right, guys. So it's been a little while since uh, you guys last saw that last clip. Andrew putting back the interior. Uh, I had to disconnect the battery uh, while the cluster was installed and wait 20 minutes yeah let's see it let's see I'm kind of excited and I already know um, once I unlock the car the cluster is gonna illuminate so let's see oh or is it when I open the door I guess it's when I open the door yeah oh oh dude it looks so nice look at that it's brighter hold on can it focus please check that out that looks so good. Okay, so as soon as I put my key in, it's gonna get even brighter, watch. Oh, you see that? It got brighter, it doesn't even wanna focus. Moment of truth. Yo! Yo, it looks so good. Look at this, the e-brake uh, icon is different than in the USDM models, because the USDM one says just brake. Also the airbag light relocated, you have this little gauge right here, the water temp. Check engine light is down there now. Yo. It just looks different too. The color looks different as well. Also, I'm out of gas. But, yo, that IV tech gauge, that supposedly works. So I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit as well. But, dude, this is sick. Let's warm up the car. Clutch in. Neutral. Oh, yes. Dude, this looks so sexy. This is worth the money. This was a little pricey. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I remember a couple years ago, it was a little pricey. Um, but dude, this is way better than a little overlay. Like just a little Mugen piece of paper over the SI part. No, you get a whole needle change. You get the freaking water temp gauge down here now. It looks so sexy down there. And it just overall looks different. Also, I heard the the hazards sound different, listen. Listen to that. It's such a lighter tone. Man, I'm just geeking out on this cluster because I've just been waiting so long again, but this thing is sick. I really like it. You know, it's a good modification when the, all the boys want to come in here and sit with your goofy ass. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yo, look me and are gonna be the backseat bandits. <laughs> You know what the best part about this cluster? Oh, I just realized this thing's right here. Yeah, it's the fact that this thing went from 100k miles to zero. Oh, we are right now. We are right now in the Honda dealer. Yeah. You know. Zero. This yeah. is 2008 right now. 2000. Okay, let me help you as a fellow agent. Or slap it. Harder. Slap it harder. Too soft. Too soft. Too soft. Slap it. It's the Civic from Ohio. Oh. You guys ready for some VTech goodness? God damn. 
Oh, let's try that. Oh, can you not right now. What? Yo, the car, the, the transmission ain't warm. Dude, just do it. Just do it. Come on, do it for the culture. Yeah. You're tripping. Do it for the vlog. Come on. This car's brand spanking new, zero miles. Oh, straight off the lot. It. Now we talking about even, a freaking yes, period. It hasn't even hit 1,000 miles. Ooh. Oh, listen. Huh? What? Does it sound different? What are you talking about? It sounds different. The turn signal. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Go ahead, gas like the shit out of him, Bill. You're pretty good at that. Yeah. Delusional. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, pussy. Oh shit, dude, some funny shit was going on earlier though. What's going on? What's going on? And that's pretty much the interior of my car. Don't get me wrong, there's still some other stuff like the sunroof that shows that it's an SI. Um, pretty much the sunroof and the seats. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below on what you thought of the cluster. Let us know if we should make some more content on the FD2. We hope you guys can make it to the meet this Saturday. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.